Hey, I'm Tim. Today we're going to continue our garage renovation by building a second set of shelves above our entry door. So stick around and I'll show you how I did it. To begin this project, we broke it up into three different sections. Our first shelving unit, our second shelving unit, and then I added this third one with leftover material. Next, let's mark where our ledger board will go against the wall. My shelves are going to be 30 inches from the ceiling. Next, we'll mark another ledger board against the ceiling. My shelves are going to be 3 feet deep. Then we're going to show where our support members are going to go, and then our last board to support the other side of the shelf. Then we just repeat the same thing to the other side. Keep the same height and also the same depth. If it's going to be longer, we're going to have to add more support members. This will be different depending on how long or narrow you're going to make your shelves. Now, let's cut all of our support members. Remember, they're going to be 30 inches long. I ripped down some 2x6s into 2x2s for all of my ledger boards. I did this to save a lot of money. It took some time, but it was well worth it in the end. Next, I ripped down some more 2x2s for my under-the-shelf support members. These are going to be 32 inches long and not 3 feet. You've got to make that adjustment so they fit perfectly underneath. Next, let's drill and countersink all the holes that we need for our support members. This will make life a whole lot easier when it comes down to assembly. Next, let's secure a ledger board to the wall. I have a block attached to the wall to help keep my board level and even, and it acts like a second pair of hands. We're going to secure this right to the wall, directly into the studs. We're going to do this every 16 inches all the way over. Now let's just do the same thing to the other side. As you can see, I put my block on the furthest point of the wall to help hold my ledger board level. It acts like a second pair of hands, like I said before. I pre-drilled all of my holes to prevent any type of splitting that may occur. Now let's secure our board to the ceiling. Remember, we're going to have three feet away from the back wall, so our shelf will be three feet deep. Now, if it's a short ledger board you're putting up, you can do this by yourself by holding, securing, readjusting the other side, and securing again. Now, if the board is long, you may need a second pair of hands. I enlisted the help of my brother. Big strong muscle head was able to hold the board up straight. All it cost me was a cup of coffee as he watched me work the rest of the time. Not only are we securing the ledger boards with our screws, we're going to use our toggle bolts again. Same ones we used in the last project. We're going to use a quarter inch drill bit to drill our holes to make sure they go through the board and into the drywall. Make sure you know what you're drilling into because you don't want to hit a water line, gas line, or anything else that might be between the walls. Now I put one toggle bolt between each stud. This might be a little bit overkill, but I didn't want these things to come down for any reason. And I did the same for the other side. Now let's secure our support. Then secure them with a couple of screws. Next, we're going to secure our adjacent ledger board. As you can see, I'm securing a block to the end of our 2x4 support member. This is going to help keep my second ledger board straight with our 2x4s. Now it's simply just place our ledger board on the block and secure it to our 2x4 support members, as seen here. Now we just repeat the process to the other side. I've got that cheater block on one end, and I'm using a clamp to hold it on the adjacent end. 
I'm using the clamp to help hold the ledger board to the support members to make sure the connections are nice and tight. Now let's build that third shelf that we weren't planning on. We're going to put a ledger board right above the door, and then a second board adjacent on the support members. Ledger board's going to go right above the trim, secure tightly with screws. No toggle bolts are going to be needed here. Now we throw up our shelving that we had pre-cut at the home store to three feet. Now to make this middle shelf, wood and secure them right to our supports. Now I just secured the exact same branches. Now we just secure the ledger board and place our last piece of shelving. Now we're going to secure the undershelf supports. This time I'm using pocket holes to secure it to the back of the ledger board. And to the front we're just going to drill right through the ledger board. Make sure you pre-drill and countersink all the holes to make sure you have no splitting. Now all that is left is secure our shelf to the ledger boards. We're going to pre-drill and countersink all the holes and secure them with wood screws. There we go, our shelves are complete. A couple of days work, a little patience and some time, and we increased our storage capacity in our garage, probably by 50%. If you liked the video, click the like button down below. Subscribe to our channel. Check out what we have coming up next. Also, check us out on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Post your projects that you've been working on. We're going to continue with our garage renovation makeover. Next step we're going to do is our flooring. We're going to put down an epoxy floor. So if you liked the video, stick around. See what we got coming up next.